else but you. Uh, Bonani is uh, the latest from the man himself, who is a reigning top musician in Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Metal. And remember, on the 6th of October, he will be on Adon Praise. And that great song, Bonani, is the latest. Please go check it out on YouTube. Talking about YouTube, we have a channel there, Major Online TV. I'm always there to watch things live. And right now, we're there live. Uh, but somebody who celebrated her birthday, and so I dedicate the song to her, is Mama Vio Sabwaji. She it's, a, it's a perfect song for me, you yes. know. I love She's Joe 30 Metal. yesterday. Uh, yesterday. She was 30 yesterday. 30? Yeah. Do I look 30? You look even I less look than 30? that. Yeah, you oh look less than that. Look, she I has look two 30. children. But <laughs> you, you wouldn't know. The men are always conning her, but don't worry. You tell uh, them, this one is too Is that straight, a rejection eh? or is an upgrade? It's an upgrade. I don't even know. You know, this <laughs> Pepe Dem ministry, she's one of them. Hey. I mean, silently. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody who also celebrated her birthday on the 21st of September is Mrs. Genevieve Daniel Ashiabo. Uh, and then uh, your child also celebrated uh, his birthday on the 15th of September, Enajim Kwabla Ashiabo. So Mrs. Genevieve Daniel Ashiabo, from your husband and of course from myself, is a belated one, mm. but we hope What's that the name you of the accept husband? it in good faith. Just call him Tampico. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know where Tam Fred is coming from. He's always there to give us some few, you know, light-hearted uh, information here and there. Yeah, but so it's from Frederick. Yes, Frederick. Good morning mm -hmm. to you as well. And I hope that uh, you made uh, your wife's birthday a, a good one to remember. And um, what did you do yesterday? Uh, you know me. Take, <laughs> take yeah, a I guess. Know. But that's too difficult. I'm sure you sat home. Yeah, I was home. It was like any other day. Yeah. But just blessed to be alive. Yes. You know, and God so bless you. May you continue to Amen. aspire to do all the things that you want to do. Amen. Uh, my motivation this morning was on self-discipline. I know that um, we all will aspire to have the best of self-discipline yeah. for success. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't matter the time. It will always come mm. once you know that you're on the right path. Thank you. You know, I share my birthday with a very good man, a great man, Reverend Kofi or tree, and I always say that's a perfect, you know, birthday yes. partner. I don't ask for anything, a great combination, anything more or less. So you know, not doing anything, but knowing that I'm sharing my birthday mm. with Reverend Kofi or tree, that's all I need. Okay, well, and do we have to do things quickly? <laughs> yes, a lot more this morning. We do. So yeah. let's uh, head straight into the Daily Graphic newspaper. Uh, front page of the Daily Graphic. Um, worm infestation awareness campaign launched in Accra, also Ghana, with Nigeria to lift Wafu Cup. Uh, Ghana triumphs, uh, Cote d'Ivoire's right not uh, violated. Parties agree to abide by decision. Uh, President excited. Lots of Ghanaians also excited, but there are still a lot of things, you know, to find out, and that's why we have this conversation with. Uh, Madame Marietta Brew Apiao Pong, who's on the show uh, at exactly 7 a.m. right after spot. We're going to get into that. Back page of the Daily Graphic, though. Ghana with Nigeria to win a Waffle Cup. This is our team view. They brought us the cup. Niger punish Benin to win bronze. Uh, all on the back page of the paper. And Benedict will be here to give us a lot more uh, details. When you look at the center spread of the graphic newspaper, there's a special feature. Uh, here we go sustaining the planting for food and jobs uh, policy uh, mill districts in perspective that's what's in the center spread of the daily graphic newspaper so there are uh, other stories in the paper today you can just ch check it out in the graphic Roland all right so we go on to the next paper it is um, the daily guide newspaper has on the front page Ghana flow uh oh I thought the vice president said we should be Cautious in our language. Ghana flaws Cote d'Ivoire is on the front page of uh, <laughs> the Daily Guide newspaper. <laughs> I tell the Daily Guide, ah, it's my best newspaper in Ghana. I tell you, Ghana flaws La Cote d'Ivoire over oil boundary. NDC dams Kwesi Boche reports, but we have other stories. The GPHIT boss blows 1.5 million dollars, and uh, Achimosa student jail three. As you may have known about the story, happened uh, in. The, the jail student's house at the time, and the Achimota uh, students, and uh, had a friend visiting him, uh, and apparently something just went off. Oh, went there's closure in this matter? Yes, and wow. something just went off with, with a gun that belonged to his parents, or his father or something. There was this bizarre, the yeah, was just, it wasn't uh, so clear. Yes. So he got a jail term of what, three years? Three years. Mm, okay. 
more like a case of manslaughter or something. Mm. Charlie, it was a very um, bad period then. I know I feel sad for the student, but more so for the parent of um, the one who has who also passed. been. Mm. Mm. And um, I, I love to read the controversial ones. So, uh, The National Democratic Congress appears to have rejected the Kwisibeche report on the party simulating defeat in the 2016 presidential polls. I don't know how that could be possible. But the Daily Guy says that even though the report blamed former President John Romani Mahama and his handlers for the party's defeat, the NDC, through his national organizer, issued a statement denouncing the report as published by the Daily Guy last week. The Kwisibeche committee had described former uh, President John Mahama as living the life of a movie star in the run-up to the election. And they, they go on and on, and um, they said that is captured on, on page 27 of the 65-page document. So please, just in case you don't know what's inside the, the daily guide, please make sure that you get on there. Now, the, the subject of the jail students is also in the daily guide. So I'll go, go straight to the daily guide, and then we get to have uh, information on it and the daily guide apparently has not told that which, which pages these stories are I've but this one it. yeah yeah it's on page seven of the paper mm -hmm. and it says that an 18 year old at uh, achimota senior high school student who shot and killed his colleague lily uh jibodi asibeche donko has been sentenced to three years imprisonment term by a juvenile court in a crime and the final year student who will be spending his jail term uh, the correctional home in Accra was found guilty after almost a nine-month trial. He was charged with manslaughter mm -hmm. when uh, he appeared before the court presided over by Benedin uh, S.A. Senu. But let's get some perspective on the matter, Mamavi. It says that um, the convict was said to have brought out his father's gun from under a bed with intent to shoot into the air you know, so but ended up killing his friend, Lily Donko, sure. who was also a, a third year, yes, kind of. You know, my daddy has a gun, I can cock it now, because your daddy does it all the time, boom. And you know, gun is heavy, if you don't handle it well, it can just mm. go off. However, days after the verdict, some Ghanaians, including the Bereave family, appear to be concerned about the jilted slap on the convict. It sounds too small for a crime like that, right? Well, I know, but the circumstances under which the crime was committed. Yeah, they know. would look at all those details yes. to arrive at that and, conclusion. And um, was it deliberate, you know, mm. all that, yeah. Well, so we'll okay. see how that goes. Um, I know. But one, the other one, one is about the boundary and we're, it's not an overflow issue. Today we're giving you perspectives from the former Attorney General. Yeah, because you know, she started this whole thing. I mean, Pepe it's Dem. Of She's a member of the Pepper <laughs> Dem Ministries. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> well, you want to be a member of the ministry? <laughs> no, I, I love, I love feminists. <laughs> feminist, <so. laughs> uh, let's turn attention to the front page of the Finder newspaper. And the, on the front page, huge relief at last. Uh, and it comes with a picture that's been making rounds, a picture that we will also talk about uh, because it's a former Attorney General with a current Attorney General. Uh, and you know, before uh, mm. she had to let go because there was a new Attorney General taking, uh, taking over, she had to do a formal introduction of her. And that's where this very famous picture is, is from. Uh, but it says, as Ghana keeps 10 oil fields despite modifications to her maritime boundary with La Cote d'Ivoire, GJA now a unionized body, set maritime boundary with Togo now. MPP tells government it lost victory to bring investors on board, according to Talo. Just quickly on the GJA matter on page four. Uh, okay. So story says that the Ghana Trades Union Congress, TUC on Friday, issued the Ghana Journalists Association, the umbrella organization of journalists in Ghana, with a trade union registration certificate. With this, the GGA has now been legally empowered to fight for the industrial and professional rights of media workers in Ghana and negotiate their conditions of service. Details of all of that in the newspaper today, in the Finder newspaper. Also, NDC congratulates players in Ghana's maritime border ruling. It's like the biggest subject in Ghana from last Saturday to today. The conversation is going to go throughout the week. So it's our biggest story here in our country. Details of all of that in the Finder. Mm. Mm. It's the biggest story. It is the uh, In story. Ghana, but mm. also getting prominence which i'm interested in i've been bounced three times 
Oh, no, I understand. To the U.S. And it's captured by the Daily Dispatch newspaper. It says, chart of countries with U.S. visa refusals. And apparently, Ghana is seven. <laughs> I've been back just last year. I was bounced in April. What, you tried last year? Yeah. You didn't tell me. I didn't know uh, you wanted no, to go. Wanted to what, holiday? No, that's for U.S. You can't mention it, though. <laughs> because you go. Because you never know. Uh, it will bounce you. <laughs> so you have to, when you get, you come and tell people. Really? <laughs> You, it's not like the UK or something. Now you can be sure. Uh, the cab of people can't see. Oh, my country. <laughs> <laughs> you were there, they will bounce you. And you know, the guy didn't even tell me any good reason. No. He yeah. looked at the thing. Uh, are you serious? Yeah, he saw that it was a genuine thing? invitation. Yeah, he looked through the internet and located the place and tried to make me see. But he said, Yeah. Have you been not. saying bad things about Mr. Trump? No. Because it apparently these days they go through your social media. They look at what oh you've no, been I doing don't. on social media. I don't. Uh, I don't. But and then, and then, but they bounced you. And then the gentleman looked at me, some young boy, small boy. Be. Uh, yeah, yeah. You didn't appeal. Can't you appeal? Oh, what's that? Even the, the, I was in a queue before I went to the place. So well, and that can't be true because you know the U.S. Embassy does not encourage queues. They give you a specific time when you should report. I'm telling you. You only go and queue when they've given yes. you like 1 o'clock and you go there like 8 a.m. No. Nobody will mind they you. They gave me a specific time and yeah. I queued. And because there were, were people there who ah, were... And they looked at you and they bounced you. <laughs> oh, but who am I? I can't take far. <laughs> <laughs> Chat of country with U.S. visa. If you've been Ghana bounced seven. before, I want to hear no about that. that. <laughs> I'm one of the statistics. If I'm you've <laughs> been bounced before by the, the, the U.S. embassy and I'm saying Accra, no wonder I'm one of the statistics. Let me know Look. if you're part of this. <laughs> Look at it. I'm one of the statistics. Ghana is seven, seven. with 65.7%. Look at seven. I'm there. We feel the rates. <laughs> with 65.7%. <laughs> Donald Trump, I love him, man. <laughs> Ghanaians who fly private jets, they're also behind there. And um, so those are the stories we have, um, Mama V, yeah. in the Daily Dispatch newspaper. And today is World Pharmacist Day, apparently. That's, uh, that's in the, I'm looking at it in the Daily Dispatch. Yeah, today is World Pharmacist Day. Yeah, yeah mm. true. We, we celebrate all, all our pharmacists. Mm. We haven't heard of a, a strike this year. Yeah? Hey, please, <laughs> please don't go on strike. Are you prompting them? <laughs> I'm not, I'm well, just saying. Well, well, yeah. You just celebrate your birthday instead of saying good things. Let's do the Business and Financial <laughs> Times newspaper, shall we? It's the BNFT front page. Ghana Ivory Coast boundary dispute settled. Ghana keeps oil fields boundaries clearly delineated. Mm -hmm. Also, new oil field operations double energy revenues. It's like, oh my God, we were sitting on something we didn't know. Uh, and then suddenly the thing has been lifted. So we're free to do whatever it is we want to do. Uh, on the back page of the BNFT, fight against worm infestation in children gets major boosts. Uh, and it says that the fight to eradicate and subsequently prevent worm infestation in children has seen a major boost with the launch of another collaborative effort between the Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana, uh, Ghana Education Service, and Janssen Pharmaceuticals, uh, of Johnson and Johnson. Details of that story on the back page of the Business and Financial Times. Also, First Allied donates cement and cash to Ashanti Regional Police. Uh, more stories in the Business and Financial Times. We encourage you to get the papers and read the details. Roland? Okay, so those are the stories we have. We have to go to the online portals now, oh, okay. quickly look at the stories um, that are published there. And uh, you go to majoronline.com. We will, but not before we share a few of mm -hmm. your messages mm -hmm. uh, coming through. Um, all right. This one says, we thank God for winning this case, and it will help the president to complete the free SHS uh, by Abdullah from Brikum. All right. Uh, this one also says, oh, lots of you wishing me a happy birthday. Well, thank you. But this one says, tomorrow, 26th, is my birthday. Okay, I thank the Almighty for his favor. Kofi Foster Davo in Ho is sending uh, this one. Happy birthday. Uh, we'll celebrate you tomorrow. Let's do myjohnline.com, Roland. All right, on myjohnline.com, Archbishop Professor Asaf Wajay on it for contribution to medical profession. Uh, UK aid DFID finding faults, government's lack of Optimum commitment to mental health services. 
Uh, Ed Loss ruling his victory for Ivory Coast 2. Gigs comments. That's the Ghana Institute for Governance and Security. It's commended Ghana and Cot d'Ivoire for amicably settling the maritime boundary dispute through Ed Plus. Uh, $50 million uh, dairy beef factory to be established in Cetra East District. Details on the page. Uh, Dubai, my 20 hours experience. Somebody is uh, sharing a 20 hours experience in Dubai. Details of that on myjohnline.com. Uh, Ghana crash rivals Nigeria to win Wafu Cup right after the headlines. Benedict will be here to give us all the details of this and more in sports. Uh, Michael wins fourth term exit poll say the German Chancellor Angela Merkel has been re-elected for fourth term in federal elections exit polls uh, suggest details of that but we know that her power is not the same uh, because she's she's also lost uh, significantly as well so it's a, a win-lose situation for her public debt reaches 139 billion dollars as of june 2016 the country's debt stock reached 139 billion Ghana cities as at the end of June this year, the latest economic and financial data released by the Bank of Ghana has revealed. Uh, Ahom Kalins says job on the line as PAC probes him for alleged perjury. Deputy Trade and Industry Minister Robert Ahom Kalins could be forced out of his job if he's found guilty of lying to Parliament under oath. That sounds big. Details of that on myjohnline.com. You can uh, check all that out. GMPC wasting too much oil money. It needs monitoring, uh, says the majority leader in parliament, Seichi Mensa Bone. So Ivory Coast threatening letters pushed us to it loss, uh, according to former President Mohammed. One of the questions I want to put up is uh, the threatening letters, how did they look like? What was the language? I mean, what were they saying, really? Uh, and multimedia group wins a big at CIMG Awards 2016. All of the details and pictures you'll find right here. Quickly, we've got just about maybe some four minutes. Let's check out uh, what City FM has on the page this morning, Roland. So we go to Ivory Coast, frustrations force Ghana to it loss. Dr. Dominic Ayeni, uh, Commander Sugar Factory at Home Kalinse to face park. And then lower court judges, magistrates threaten strike. But Ghana will have female president one day. Go down, go down. That's the president. I believe so too. It will be very soon. Just within the next uh, 10 to 15 years, we'll have one. Um, now we have other stories there. Cromwell terror attack reports false. A boundary dispute shouldn't destroy Ghana Ivory Coast relations, according to Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. Uh, makes expectations meet Bank of Ghana's policy rate to decision and uh, cocoa farmers to benefit from passion scheme soon. And Ghana's debt stock apparently has hit by June 138.6 billion, which was uh, was about 122 or 121 uh, by the close of last year. Let's right. finish off the BBC. So we finish off with the. Mm. Uh, homepage of the BBC, and we're told that uh, Angela Merkel has been re elected amid nationalist rise. That's the AFD, and um, they've gotten some, but it's all because of the subject of refugees and the acceptance into yeah. Germany and all that. And I'm sure if that is put right, the AFD could. And um, Angela's power is not the same after this election. No, right wing. Uh, now they have to, it has to be, it's almost a situation like what um, Theresa May had to face, uh, try and come up and form a government. And it's, uh, but we hear that she's a, a great negotiator. So mm, She's yeah. already been, the, the party had already been a coalition. So I think that, uh, and they will be joined by parliament, in parliament by the nationalist uh, AFD. So. Mm. Okay. Right. Uh, so we've got other stories there. Uh, you can check uh, the stories out on any of the pages but we encourage you to buy the newspapers that's the only way they can survive in the business so buy the newspapers check out other stories uh, but the newspapers i think that need to have portals 
and ways of selling some, uh, some of them soft do. copies. Some of them do. Well, I know. Uh, Dan Megoro in Wa. Thank you very much for your message to me. Uh, one more. This one says, I think MTN mobile money scam is becoming alarming. They're really rob. Uh, you mean robbing our brothers for from their investors. Darren Tamale, Roland, we've talked about this. And I think that if you're, you're talking about MTN specific, when you dial their number, there's, there's uh, a reminder of the kind of activities that people that are is, doing with the mobile if you, money. If you dial. Yeah. But so when you're calling actions, somebody... But the actions are... Uh, when you're sending money, I may not necessarily be an MTN user, but yeah. I have to send money to somebody who uses MTN. Okay, but we know that it's not just MTN. It cuts across. Yes, it cuts across, it cuts but, across. It, it, but I, I guess just not to be partial mm -hmm. and just to be speaking to one yeah. uh, tele telecom network. Mm -hmm. so just but this is, this is something that's been on my heart, uh, uh, Derry. So we'll deal with this subject. It's a matter that it's something that we all face once in a while. We've had close people around us who've gone, uh, you know, who've been scammed as well. So we will yeah, deal I have with this two. subject. You have? Two, yeah. They oh. were taking one was 500 and something else. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Let's make way for Benedict with Sport, after which we'll come back. It's a one-on-one -on -one with the former Attorney Gen General of the Republic of Ghana. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. If you've got questions for her, please send them through via regular SMS.